Yeah, Jay Slayer, I believe, is from the 805 region of SoCal, the Oxnard area. So they have quite a bit of a ways to come down here to MSM. But shout out to them for making it out here, though. They were used to playing particularly in the Valley area of SoCal, but they're still looking to extend themselves, themselves in a much farther region. Jay Slayer did kind of bring his name from actually beating out. Uh, I'm not sure if it was him or Jason. Sometimes they do get the confused. Uh, he got his name here for beating Jason. Uh, I'm not too really sure on the history there, so I'm not going to weigh in on it. But that was a nice play from Tyrant right there. That was Sees Jay Slayer coming out, pokes him with the first hit side, and then combos it into the up beat. Gets the sweet spot, no touch from Jay Slayer from earlier in the song. Yeah, that was really good from Jay Slayer. He tried to simple back here, but unfortunately he ate such a big punish, and he lost his spot for it. My Tyrant's looking kind of nice so far. But this is not too far behind. If he will get the stock early, we'll still have to punish the F there. Oh, oh no, God. that was not good, too. I feel like he lost his positioning there, he's still there. He lost his positioning there because he tried to go for like a jab, but unfortunately, like, the is still there. Yeah. So I thought it would have been better to just drop off the platform. I think it looked like maybe he wanted to run off the platform, but didn't get, like, drop through because it's good in this game. And yeah. he panicked and shielded the Tyrant. Tyrant was ready for it. Yeah. Players, characters like Martha Lucina, they are able to actually, like, properly get you on a shield break if you're not ready. He goes from that forward air here and he immediately calls out to high ranks. Alright, Jay Slayer retreating to the ledge here. He's buying himself some time on the stage. 102% here to high ranks at 11. Did you sit there, punishing him with a shield? I, it looked like a win down, but he just took his whip off down in time. And now Jay Slayer is starting to make moves here with the side beat. Yeah. Nice up smash right there, gonna be both doing up the stock. Tyrant's looking pretty solid here. Yeah, it's a forward air. I like the fact that he used the side stall. He might have been trying to sense Tyrant's low recovery and then go for a punish from there. Once more, like you said, he sends that low recovery and he stalls himself out and just for just enough time to go for a punish. You can fire Corona Carry and the PK Thunder. If he hits him with the tail, he can carry him off the stage, but also if he's able to bring Lucina back to him and hit Lucas himself, he can also deal massive damage as well. Up there, pokes him with the down tilt. He reads the roll in and the shield, but he doesn't get the shield break just barely. Jay Slayer going to have to just run in and out. Does not want to be stuck in shield here. Throw nice throw. Four throw. I like the DI mix up. Lucas has so many throws that actually kill that it's kind of hard to DI. Yeah. The down slash is going to be active for so long, not able to. Uh, Tyrant's not able to stop it now. Yeah. So I do see that Tyrant is a little bit overextending there, especially when Jay Slayer is at disadvantage. You kind of have to keep in mind that Lucas does have a couple tricks of the sleeve to come back from the uh, ledge in the form of Zare, PK Fire, and he's also able to re grab it. Unfortunately, no aerial, and he calls him out for going for an aerial as well. Either way, the back air was very good. Giant I won. That's loose in the back air right here. And the way that, like I mentioned it earlier too, Lucas has had a couple of tricks on the sleeve to come back on the stage. I mentioned how that Zare was one of them too, and you have to go for an aerial first. So that was going to be really good for Tyrants to actually call him up for going for that option. Jay Slayer down a point here, Tyrants up one. Oh, this is the first time I've seen this kid, I'm not going to lie. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. I mean, that's, that's what the, you know, kind of all of these kids end up being Wi Fi warriors playing with their friends, but when they finally get that Thanksgiving break, right, their Christmas vacation, they're right out here. They're out here. Tyrant starting off strong, 36%, but the quick combo is maybe 20 back on. Mm -hmm. Another opening. I, I love this pivot cancel forward tilt. Caught the air dodge in, and then his jump gets hit by the forward smash. Tyrant's just pedal to the metal right Yeah, he busted out the tech to make sure the victory was secured in the hands. Especially for the first dog, especially on game two, with already one point on the board for you. Yeah, he's got to be feeling good right now. Has a really solid lead, but he doesn't react to the neutral game, and that's an aggressive option from Jason. He doesn't get the sweet spot. No, he doesn't, too, and he double side stalled him to make sure he was going to try to get the punish. Yeah, the idea was there, but just slightly, slightly was spacing it so he's not going to get the kill. That should be a big punch, but he feels bad. That's not going to do it, yeah. I feel like Jason is not playing confidently right now. We're it's seeing a lot of things he could be doing if he's committing to it, but he's kind of yeah. like, 
half committing, half playing it safe, where it's this might hit, but I don't want to get punished if it doesn't, so I'm not going to come in to make sure I can. Yeah, I was really scared for the incident at the back end. kind of going to go for a roll. We saw the last time when you were in the back end, and still goes. So it has to be careful by being too defensive on the platform. I can not that. Up. That shows him off. And he gets to say, on stage, I like that. He gets himself onto the other side of the stage safely. But these DK fires just aren't working out for him. Yeah, and yes, has to be careful when he plays it in the air. Kavus, you know, will call him out for it. And unfortunately, that was a really good example of how Tyrant's got him. DK Thunder to carry oh, him off the stage. so good, but Tyrant's keeps his jump. From the talk about it, right? Being in the air against Lucina, especially for Lucas, is not really good. It is not, and Air Dodge in gets hit, but he still got his jump once again. He's playing around the PK Thunder so well, like he's really making the matchup where he knows that he's going to get hit with that, but as long as he has his jump, he'll be okay. Oh, that's... No, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He is able to stall it there because of the zero, but there's no jump. He's forced that to for the jump. Thunder, yeah. That was really good from Terrence, too. He tried to go for a border and he really officially was as well. I would have loved to have seen the counter because PK Thunder does have that last unit box in the yeah, counter in one. Yeah, but it's not Ness's, so it's not going to be strong enough to actually pull him off the counter. No. Because but it, at that it's low? A multi, it's a multi hit move. I, think it, I don't think the counter would have killed him. Mm -hmm. But Jay Slayer still in this game gets to be a momentum. He can get an early stock on Thailand and he gets to get back there. So. Yeah. He's also got to watch out the spacing there at the ledge. Look at oh. how much he lost for going for that edge guard. Yeah, that seemed really overzealous. I'm not quite sure what he was looking for. Tyler doesn't care. He runs over, F smashes his hand, and he gets a 2-0 victory over.